look the part so I can feel the part. That is a wrap on lectures. <laughs>official PA student or PAS. Uh, it is 6.30 in the morning, August 24th, and I am going to get ready, eat some good breakfast, and prepare for my classes that start at 7.40 a.m. I'll be right back. I am all ready now. I decided to look the part so I can feel the part. And this is what I am wearing. Maybe it's just an excuse to wear some new shoes. But if I were actually going to school in person, this would be my outfit. So I thought I would chat with you all while I'm eating my breakfast about how my classes are structured. So my classes are going to be online this whole semester. Mondays and Wednesdays I have class from 8 to 10.40. It's two different classes. And prior to each class I will have an individual quiz or a group quiz. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays are my labs. So I'll either have anatomy and radiology or patient encounter lab. And then Fridays varies from pharmacology to patho to um i think um what do you call it An anatomy and radiology and studies in pa profession so that friday always always going to vary depending on the schedule um right now i'm going to prepare or just like look over my notes once more before i take my quiz and then start lectures It is now 12 p.m. We did extend a little bit um, past class time to go over a few cases. So my first class was pathophysiology and we're going over inflammation, tissue repair, all of that stuff. We had a quiz because we did have our information prior to class time. And I know a few of you guys on Instagram were wondering why I had a quiz and how did I get the material? Well, our professors provided us the material. And then after that, I had ICM, which is Introduction to Clinical Medicine, and that's where we learn all of the diseases and how they present clinically. And so that's why we have we had case studies, and we get into groups, and we do those case studies. And later today at 3, I'm going to have patient encounters, so that's how we should behave with or not even behave it's how we approach a patient when we are in clinic so yeah i'm going to eat right now i made a bunch of soup yesterday so that i could just put in the microwave and eat it and i'm going to be reading for my patient encounter class so this is what i made it's lentil soup with lots of carrots you should add celery but i don't have celery so i just added a lot of carrots and i'm very excited too bad it's actually nice I enjoy going to school and I enjoy studying and I enjoy interacting with my classmates and my pa my patients I don't even have patients yet and my professors um, I just like hearing what everyone has to say and everyone's input on things so I really enjoyed my day today for the rest of the day I am going to work out cook study read and tomorrow I have, my class would only be lab, but labs are canceled for the first week. 
so I have my whole day available to continue reading, studying, and preparing for my Wednesday lectures. I just finished working out. It wasn't, I didn't really like that workout to be honest. I'm trying to find a at home workout, but that one was like, eh. And now I'm going to eat. This is my food. It's kind of basic. If it doesn't taste good, I'm gonna add something unhealthy. Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> if the chicken doesn't taste good. <laughs> I don't really know how to cook that well. I'm learning, I'm trying, and that's the important part. Hello you guys, it is 8 p.m. I made a strawberry, banana, and peach smoothie with yogurt and silk milk, and I'm gonna start studying. Tomorrow I do have an exam for medical terminology. It is 75 questions long. Um, I don't know the time limit or any of that stuff, but I'm going to start preparing for it right now. So I have this old medical terminology book and I forgot that I brought it with me so I'm going to use it tonight to just go through it and answer some of the questions that they have on there. Um, I made some popcorn. <laughs> This one's supposed to be healthier. I don't know if it really is or not, but it's good. What's even better is that it has a comprehensive review at the end, and it is multiple choice. I think this will be a good practice for my exam tomorrow. It is 11.20 and I am ready to head to bed. I'm gonna brush my teeth and all of that good stuff. And tomorrow I'm gonna wake up around 6.30, get ready, eat breakfast, prepare for my exam. And I think it opens around 8.45, so I will take it then. Um, good night, you guys, and see you tomorrow.